Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. With greenhouse effect, the temperature of the earth increases to an appropriate temperature which is needed for the survival of life. But now what will happen if the temperature of the earth keeps on increasing continuously? In that case, that will again have a negative impact because we wanted the optimum temperature, neither too high nor too low. But now what's happening in reality is that over the past couple of years, it has been observed that the average temperature is continuously increasing. And this is resulting in global warming, that means warming globe across the globe. So over increase in the temperature of the earth's surface due to the action of greenhouse gases. Now when can the temperature increase so much? Why is this extra increase in temperature? Obviously due to the action of greenhouse gases but the main reason is the increase in the amount of greenhouse gases. Now the concentration of greenhouse gases have increased a lot therefore there is more absorption of infrared radiation as a result the temperature increase is also more. Now in fact it has been observed that in the last 100 years the average temperature has increased by 0.6 degrees Celsius. So in last in last 100 years, the average temperature has increased by 0.6 degree Celsius. But if you look at it with, from this point of view that this increase did not happen gradually over 100 years. Actual, the actual increase happened only in the last 30 years. That means some major drastic changes have taken place in the last 30 years because of which the greenhouse gases have increased a lot and therefore the temperature has increased. Now if the temperature keep on increasing like this, what will happen? Again, due to high temperature, living organisms will not be able to survive. So let us see what are the causes for global warming? What is increasing the temperature of the earth? First is increased use of fossil fuels because we saw burning of fossil fuels release a lot of carbon dioxide. So the amount of carbon dioxide is increasing and when carbon dioxide is more then absorption of infrared is more and temperature will increase. Deforestation. Now when we cut down trees what happens? Now plants are those uh, organisms which utilize carbon dioxide. They take in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. So plants utilize carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. So what happens is now if we cut down all the plants, if we start reducing the number of plants, then the utilization of carbon dioxide also decreases. So more carbon dioxide is left out in the atmosphere. So that means also the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases. Overpopulation. Now again, the cause for deforestation again to some extent is overpopulation. The population is increasing so much that the needs of the increasing population it has become difficult to meet. So to meet the needs of the population, deforestation is taking place. Increased use of fossil fuel is taking place. So overpopulation is the underlying cause for all these different causes. So it is very important to limit or to control the population. So the every couple should uh, limit their family to one or maximum two kids, not more than that. So now let us look at the harmful effects of global warming. What will happen if global warming continue like this? So when the temperature increases, what will happen? Everywhere we have, wherever we have snow or ice, they will start melting. So the ice, glaciers, mountains, ice sheets, they will start melting. And this melting will result in destruction of the ecosystem of that particular region. Because there are a lot of organisms which live in this extremely cold climate also. So those organisms will die. Rise in sea level. Now the in sea level will also increase. Now when the sea level increases, what will happen? It will submerge the coastal areas. For example, right now let us suppose this is the sea level, and this is the this is the point from where it is measured. Now when the, all the glaciers are melting, so a lot of water is pouring in. So this water will actually lead to the increase in the sea level. Now when the sea level increases. Then the coastal areas which might be here that might get submerged under the sea level. Increased precipitation. 
there will be more snowfall and rainfall high wind probability of flood and flood can cause huge destruction flood can not only spoil the ecosystem of that area it can uh, cause several diseases in that area there will be due to the melting of the polar ice caps there will be too much of water everywhere so spread of diseases lack of electricity lack of food the abrupt change in climate so all these things will become very common and this can gradually lead to the destruction of various life forms change in ecosystems now what is an ecosystem an ecosystem is one particular area where for example i'll give you some examples of ecosystem like forest is an ecosystem pond is an ecosystem lake is an ecosystem desert is an ecosystem so it is an area where living organisms as well as non living organisms they live together uh, in cooperation with each other so they interact with each other and that's how they survive so in this case what will happen several ecosystem will get spoiled either due to flood or due to the melting of the glaciers or due to too much of rainfall and snowfall so these are some of the harmful effects and now looking at the data of global warming like how the temperature has increased in the past 30 years we should become cautious that global warming does not take place we should be able to control global warming otherwise we should remain prepared for such adverse situations in future so with this we thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again